Hey, good afternoon. This is Awesome Welcome by SU from Zen Ideas. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add alias to Gmail. Now, the reason is that I got this email back in April. So, so basically, um, I am at the legacy uh, Google Workspace or Google for Business user, and I've been using for free. Uh, but as of June the 1st, uh, I have to pay per account. So here's the price. So I think I, I gotta probably pay uh, 780 Canadian per user per month. So I have five accounts. And uh, so that's why I like to save money actually. Um, so that's why I like to add alias to Gmail instead of keeping uh, five accounts. Um, actually, I have to keep one account uh, for my staff, but uh, those four accounts, so Osamu at my domain, which is zenideas.ca, so I got the mydomain.com, and I got the four different accounts, so info at, support at, billing at. You, you might, if you're running a small company, you might have kind of similar situation too. Um, those email, um, because we are running small operation, I'm checking those email anyway. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just keep one account and creating the three alternate email addresses or email alias. So this is good because the client can contact me if there's any technical support so they can contact me at support at, or if he has any question about billings, uh, they uh, they can contact me at the billings at or if there's any general uh, inquiry so they can use info at right so let's uh, work on that so again so this is actually my first time so let's work on this so first uh, let's go to google admin so admin.google.com uh, and go to users so manage so i got the five active so just click uh, my name here and here you see the user information click that and right here so it seems like you can add alternate email so let's just say a support at and i think i can keep adding okay so info at and another thing is i like to do billings at so let's probably good all right, it says another user already has this email. All right, so probably I should delete those accounts first. Okay, let's work on that. So I check those and I can probably delete selected user. Okay. So it looks like uh, uh, the Gmail uh, gives an option to migrate uh, the user's ex existing email and then the transfer data um, i don't need that um, because i have in my uh, client email application it's uh, everything is downloaded on my hard drive so i'm going to just go ahead and delete okay so let's go back to uh, atomy and then go to manage all right and then let's do it again add so first is let's say support and then info at and then billing and hit save i think this is it so let's try so i'm gonna send to support at zenideas.ca and subject test i'm gonna send from my personal uh, email account mac.com and then uh, let's just uh, hit send so i logged in as uh, osama at zenideas oh here we go so it's here now i'm curious um so how do i know this is oh here we go so like so you can see uh to support you see that support at so you can see that okay let's do another test i'm gonna just pause my video here okay so another email uh billings 
at zaiza.ca uh, invoice test and then uh, let's hit so I'm setting from my personal account and hit uh, send and hit refresh okay here we go and then to billings oh that's great so two billings okay that's that's good now what what's gonna happen if I hit the reply uh, so let's say um, so that's okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, using my this is like all the signature and then uh, I'll see uh, you know I will get back to you shortly okay so I'm just to hit send like this and okay so looks like I got it but uh, let's see so that part it says awesome at zen ideas .ca. okay so this doesn't make sense um, so when you hit the reply somebody sent it to me so let's say um, support at zen ideas .ca. And when I hit apply, um, get up and you know they should see not just my name, should say like a support, right? So um, so actually, so I found out how to do that. So uh, let's see. So go to settings, go to all settings here, and they go to account, and here like send email as. So I should be able to add another account so okay so oh, okay so i can change the name uh hmm, what should i say i can say maybe the ideas support and the email address is uh support at the ideas the ca treat as an alias okay and the next step all right so you know i'm gonna keep adding uh more so do it again um uh, no one is um it's in yes billings and then let's say billing at and i get that ca next step and then hit another one uh maybe then ideas general and then if at then the ca all right, so I add that. Is there any save button? I don't think so. Okay, let's go back again. All right, so I'm gonna see. Uh, go here. Now this was to support, so I'm gonna hit the. Okay, so it looks like uh, now I have a little from field here, so I can probably send this to, uh, send this from uh the idea support and i'm gonna say um thank you again okay and i hit send and i'm gonna go back to this email and then hit to get an email okay got it oh now look at it so from the idea support and then it says support at the ideas all right, so that's great. I used to have four accounts, and uh, it didn't matter because I, you know, like it was free. Uh, but now uh, Google is going to charge me uh, per account. So uh, this way I can save a little bit of budget, um, like unnecessary uh, payment, right? And it is nicer for our client side to have those email accounts because clients can contact me uh, based on their needs right so anything tech support or anything about the financing the billing and the invoice or if any general inquiry uh, they can still contact me at info at right uh, instead of directly to my work email i hope this helps and see you next time